Hi, my name is Dr. Schnorr. I'm one of the founding partners at Coastal Fertility Specialist and I'm glad you're here today. What I wanted to do was spend a minute with you and go over a common procedure we do before in vitro fertilization or donor egg treatment or even use of frozen embryos which is a way to evaluate the uterine cavity to make sure that it's normal and to take measurements of the uterine cavity to make sure that we have the embryos available that we can put them into the appropriate location within the uterus when we're ready to do your embryo transfer. The procedures that we're going to talk about are called a sonohistogram and a trial transfer. And let me make it very clear, this is not a hysterosalpingogram, it's a sonohistogram which we uh, choose to use as our way to evaluate the uterus because it costs less money, it's less uncomfortable, and it's a lot quicker, it doesn't involve any exposure to any radiation. A sonohistogram is a procedure where you have generally an empty bladder and for that portion of the procedure we actually put a speculum in the vagina, a little bit of brown soap goes onto the cervix, it's a soap called betadine. We then put a catheter into the cervix and then while the catheter is in the cervix we do an ultrasound while we very slowly inject warm sterile saline into the uterine cavity that opens up the uterine cavity so that we can see within the uterine cavity and we can look for any polyps, fibroids, or anything abnormal within the uterine cavity. It's important that these things grow over time. They may not have been there in the past and could now be present and if they're now present in the uterus we know that they clearly lower your chances of conceiving if you choose to have embryos transferred into the uterus and most importantly if we find abnormalities we can take those abnormalities out at a later date and return your pregnancy rates to as if they were never there to begin with. The entire procedure takes around three to four minutes from start to finish. When you're done, a little bit of that sterile water will leak back out, maybe a little bit of a brown discharge from the soap that's put onto the cervix. Uh, might have a little bleeding and spotting that lasts for a day or two. Uh, very minimal cramping, if at all. Uh, patients having a sonohistogram um, have generally what they consider to be a quarter or less of the pain associated with a hysterosalpingogram. That's an that x-ray procedure. And once we're done, we'll have instant results and be able to review those with you. Sometimes at the same time, if it's not already been done, so we take measurements of the uterus, we call that a trial transfer. A trial transfer helps us understand how large the uterus is and where the embryo should be put into the uterine cavity. Typically, we transfer the embryos into the bottom half of the uterus. And what we would do is have you come in with a full bladder before this procedure and then put an ultrasound probe on your tummy and with that look at the uterus make sure the bladder is appropriately distended. A full bladder gives us the advantages of taking a uterus which normally tilts up forwards and it flattens the uterus out so the catheters fit into the uterus easier and that actually improves pregnancy rates a lot with in vitro fertilization. And the second thing a full bladder does is gives us what we call an acoustic window. It allows the ultrasound beams to see through the fluid a little bit better so we can see the uterus better and take better measurements of the uterus. This procedure called a trial transfer will take two to three minutes. Uh, we'll take notes and put those in the chart so that when you come in for your transfer we know exactly how far to put the embryos into the uterus. The procedure um, is the same thing that we do when we do your real embryo transfer. The only difference is the real embryo transfer would be done in the uh, operating room. The embryologist would be handing us a catheter. We unfortunately again would need a full bladder, um, but as soon as the transfer is done in real life, then we actually have you use the bathroom and that will let you empty your bladder and get you back to normal. So that's the basics of what a sonohistogram histogram and a trial transfer are. Very minimal pain and discomfort, probably a 15 minute visit from start to finish. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Wish you the best and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.